Hello, this is Dr. Lotz from humanbodyhelp.com and today I'll be running through the muscles of the forearm. I'll be starting with the anterior forearm and we can see the anterior forearm muscles here. The first muscle I'll point to would be the pronator teres muscle right here and then the next muscle is going to be the flexor carpi radialis muscle then we've got the palmaris longus muscle, which you can see is cut right here. It would lead into the palm of the hand and the palmar aponeurosis. This muscle right here would be the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle, and you can see a little bit of the pisiform bone right here because that's one of the bones that it would attach to distally. Deep to these, we would have this muscle under here, which would be the flexor digitorum superficialis and if I were to remove this plate right here deep to that we'd be able to see flexor digitorum profundus. Okay. This muscle right here is going to be flexor pollicis longus. If I were to go to the posterior aspect of the forearm we would see these muscles here. This muscle right here is going to be the brachioradialis muscle. It's going to go all the way down to the radial styloid process here. This muscle right here is going to be extensor carpi radialis longus. Extensor carpi radialis longus. And then this one right here would be extensor carpi radialis brevis. This muscle right here would be extensor digitorum. And you can follow that muscle down to its tendons that go to the digits. This muscle right here is going to be extensor digiti minimi. And then this muscle right here is going to be extensor carpi ulnaris. It's on the ulnar side. Extensor carpi ulnaris. And then finally we have this little muscle right here. This is the anconius muscle. Okay. Anconius. Now, if I were to come back this way and remove these muscles, remember these are brachioradialis, extensor carpi radialis longus, and extensor carpi radialis brevis, we would be able to see the supinator underneath here. And then the fibers of the pronator teres muscle crossing that. Coming back to the posterior forearm, we've got these muscles here. Okay? This is going to be abductor pollicis longus. This is going to be extensor pollicis brevis. And then this one would be extensor pollicis longus. Okay. So again, abductor, abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, and then extensor pollicis longus, all going to the thumb side of the hand. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.